Welcome guys to another episode here at Random Gear Projects. So today I will be showing you how to use a GSM module using Visual Basic.net. So let's get started. So in this tutorial will be two parts. So the first one is a sending message and the second one is receiving message. Today uh, I will be showing you how to send a message and before we start I have a SIM 900D and SIM 800L. So you can buy these things from the eGizmo so you can check from their website. It costs a $44 so in the Philippines it is a 2200 and the SIM 800L costs a $23 in the Philippines it is a 1000 pesos and now we're going to start a tutorial so this is the parts all you need SIM 900D GSM module this is the main component for this project to send and receive a message USB to UART converter this will be act as a bridge to communicate from software to hardware a valid SIM card with load to send a message 5 volts to ampere adapter to supply a GSM module and some jumper wires for connecting all components. First we're going to connect a UART to GSM module using jumper wire. Connect the ground of the UART to the ground of the GSM module. Connect the RX of the UART to the TX of the GSM module. Then, connect the TX of the UART to the RX of the GSM module. Next, we're going to insert a SIM card. SIM card should recognize and should have a good signal in your area. Then, connect the UART converter to computer and also power the GSM module using power supply. Press the power button of the GSM module and wait to establish the network. If the light is blinking unregularly, the network is successfully established. Into your computer, go to the computer management. Click device manager and select ports. As you can see, it displayed the device port name. Then, go to the application called Terminal. Terminal is an app or simulation for testing and troubleshooting the hardware. We scan the port list and choose the port name of your device, then click Connect. And it will display in the status bar if the device is connected. And we're going to test the GSM module using an 80 commands. First, Type the 80 space dollar sign here. If the hardware said OK, it means your connection is good. After that, type 80 plus CMGS equals double code and the number you want to send a message. And dollar sign here. As you can see, there is a right row which means we are now able to type a message to send. So I type hello world space dollar sign 1a then execute. If the output is ok means the message was sent successfully. And for the Visual Basic, I create a simple program for sending text message. And also, I provide the codes and program on the description.
Thank you guys for watching this episode of Randall Gear Projects. Please subscribe me on my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, Twitter, and also like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching again, and don't forget to stay tuned.